Shalom, we're Israel United in Christ. We're here to teach you so-called blacks and Hispanics your true nationality. Hey sis, what's your nationality sis? What's your nationality according to the Bible? Come up and learn. It won't take but five minutes. I gotta do this for some lady. One question there sis, where do you see yourself on this side? This is what they gave you in slavery, the names that they gave us. What does God call you? So from this day on, you will know one thing, what does God call you? Right. Judah, give me that Hebrew. Judah is a specific tribe that Christ, the black Messiah came from. You come from the same tribe as Christ is, you got Christ's blood running through your veins. That should make you feel some certain way. You should be looking like a princess with your head up, knowing that you come from the lineage that Christ come from. Listen, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter seven, verse 14. For it is evident, it is evident, it's for sure, really, that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord is the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. He come from the same lineage as you come from. If Christ was walking here today, they would call him an American black, sis. Right. So from this day on, you don't no longer call yourself African American, American black. You call yourself Judah from the tribe, tribe of Israel. That's who you are, sis. Find yourself important. Understand that. You got a flyer? We got a school down here. Get his sister to fly it, bro. I know you got things to do. What's going on, bro? We out here teaching true nationality according to the Bible. Come listen, come learn. Because, hey, people think that this is a hate campaign. But this is really love. Let's show you what it is. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God says that we should not hate our brothers in our heart. This is love. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke means to correct. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. We see our brothers and sisters in sin, then we're going to come and let you know. How's it going, brother? Hey, do you know the solution to what they so-called black and black, black on black crime? Because don't you think we're killing ourselves at a alarming rate? We know the cops doing killing too, but we're killing ourselves more. This is the answer. Go back to the video. This is how we can put an end to that, the solution, because people always complain about stuff, but they're not giving us a solution, right? Right. This is the solution. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. This is a commandment. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. That means if I see you, brother, you about to go and rob a store, I should be like, bro, don't do that. That's illegal. You could get locked up. If I see you about to go shoot your brother down, loading up your pistol, brother, don't do that. This your people. Read. And not suffer sin I don't upon him. Suffer sin upon you. Read. Thou shalt not offend, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. And by me telling you that, you shouldn't be bearing no grudge against me because, hey, I'm trying to keep you from going down that path. Right. Read. But thou shalt love thy neighbor uh -huh. as thyself. I shall love you as I love myself. Read. I am the Lord. Okay, because hey, that's the key. We should not be going against our people. We should be telling our brother, hey brother, you in the wrong, don't do that. Right. But we have no black man standing up. Yeah. Our black man in the community drinking beer, smoking weed all day. They can't tell the young man nothing. Right. That's so right. The man looking at them like, man, you old drunk fool. You don't know nothing. But do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah. Judah. Give me that, what you got, 14. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Because Judah is short. Judah comes from the word Jew. When they say you're a Jew, that comes from Judah. What color are the Jews? Okay, what color is the media when you turn on the TV? What color they say the Jews? They say the Jews are white. Let's see what the Bible said. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh huh. Judah morning. Judah is in morning. We are at the bottom. We are the first five, the last hire, section eight, food stamps, government assistant. That's us. Read. And the gates thereof language. Our leaders they ain't teaching us nothing. Reverend Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, read. They are black unto the ground. Whoa, whoa. What color the Jews are? They are black 
unto the ground. Jews are black unto the ground. That means if you look at this ground now, it's black. The deeper you get, the darker it gets. We are the real Jews, but we're gonna show you how we really know that. Go there and do the running. Yes, sir. Give you a quick history lesson because this is a black college. They're not teaching the students anything about their true history. We come out here every weekend trying to teach our people. They walk by like they don't know. But when the police got the gun on them, ready to shoot them down, oh, we want justice, we want peace, we want equal rights. Police like you just a nigga. Right. You don't know who you are, you don't know where your family come from, you're an animal. That's the way they look at the black man, the black woman. But we out here to give our people solutions and they walk around like it's nothing. That's simple-minded. That's not wisdom. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. Because there's reasons why we're in the position that we're in. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to God, this is what we're going to happen. To observe, to do all his commandments, uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this uh -huh. day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said curses is going to come upon us and overtake us. It's cursing after your own heart. Then you're gonna go a horn. Right. Because I said something earlier. How you doing, sis? You know your nationality according to the Bible? No, Look at this sign right here. These are the names that they gave us in slavery. These are the names that God calls you in the Bible. Like I was saying, sis, I said something earlier. When a man looking at your body, he can see you in pants, he can see the shape. This is what God says about that. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable, read. And the bed undefiled. Uh -huh. Read. But whoremongers. Whoremongers. That's a man that runs from woman to woman. That's a woman that runs from man to man. Listen to what God says, read. And adulterers. And adulterers, read. God will judge. How do you think God is going to judge a whoremonger? A man that sleeps from woman to woman and a woman that sleeps from man to man. How will God judge yeah. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. Uh -huh. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee till thou be destroyed. What sicknesses and what plagues is not in the Bible? AIDS, syphilis, Gonorrhea, that's not in the Bible. That's how God, God is gonna judge a whoremonger. Man running from woman to woman. Half of these men out here sleeping with men too. Right. And they sleeping with women. Right. So they bringing diseases to the sisters. They don't care. They just wanna get a body count. Oh, I done mashed this woman. I done smashed this sister. Late at night, they with their man friend. They bringing the diseases to the community and it's spreading wild. This is a judgment that God put upon his people. That's why he say marriage is honorable and all. Because once you get married, your man is going to desire you, you're going to desire your man. Right. He ain't going to be going out, you're not going to be going out. It's safety in that. This is a commandment. That's why God said marriage is honorable and all. Because if we do anything else, anything can happen. We know that diseases are rapid, running rapid at this college. Right. If you look at the statistics of FAMU, they're very high with diseases here. So most of these guys is out to hit it and quit it. Leave you with a disease or a baby, and they're gone. Now what? You're stuck with a child, stuck with a disease. Now you, it's pressure on you. So if we keep the God's commandments, we don't have to worry about that. Let's, let's see what... Uh, yeah, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. This is the law on a man and a woman. If a man entice a maid, which is not betrothed. So if a man come at you, what's up, sister? How you doing? Hey, what's up? Let's hook up. Let's holler. Starts to uh, want to touch on you and kiss on you. That's enticing you. Read. And lie with her. And if that man lies with you, read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. He shall surely make you his wife. He shouldn't surely, oh, hit it and quit it. The Bible says he's supposed to make you his wife if he entice you. That's the way you got to have your mindset, sister. You a princess and you should have high standards. Give me that in, um, 
on Deuteronomy 76. Let's okay. see what the law feels about the so-called black and Hispanic system. Because y'all not regular sisters. Did you see where you was on that side, sis? Where? Judah. Judah, on the tribe of Judah. That's the tribe of Christ. Hey, the true image the of Christ. Christ is. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. This is how Christ, this is how God feels about you two sisters. Listen. For there are in holy people. God said you are holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto him. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God chose you, me, to be special unto himself. Read. Above all people. No, no, we equal to everybody. Above all people. No, we can wear pants and we can run from man to man or woman to woman. Above all people. God said we're above everybody. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. Hmm. That's heavy. God said we're above everybody on the face of the earth. So why are we marching in the streets? Uh, Black Lives Matter. Why are we marching in the streets? Uh, hands up, don't shoot. If we knew we was above everybody, we wouldn't have to do that. Right. We'll do what God says and he'll handle everything else. That's why people are going wrong here. They're depending on man to make them. Give me that in um, Lamentation 5, 4, 17. Because we're depending on other people to save us. We, we can't depend on that stuff. They're not going to save us. No matter how much we march, we've been marching since the 60s with Martin Luther King era. What has changed? Ain't nothing changed. We still at the bottom of society. Of course, a couple of us making a little money. We got a couple of little cars and house. What is that? We don't have wealth to pass down to the generations coming. Right. Well, we can, what can we leave our kids? A car, a house? What is that? That's nothing. But nine times out of 10, you still gonna owe mortgage on the house. So you're leaving your child a bill. Read that. The Book of Lamentations, chapter four, Verse 17, uh -huh. as for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain health. That's us, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. The nation we're watching for is the other nations, the, the uh, whites, the Chinese, the Arabs. We waiting for these people to give us a handout. Right. When God said we're the greatest people on the planet. If we gather ourselves together, give me that. If we gather ourselves together, come back to one people, all these people on this side, then we'll, we'll, be, we'll be at the top again. But no, how did they separate us? They gave, they took the blacks over here in America. The West Indians, they took them to Jamaica. The uh, Puerto Ricans, they took them to Puerto Rico. The Me Mexicans, they took them over there uh, Mexico. They scattered us on slave ships. Then they say, okay, let's say they figure out who they are. What can we do next? Let's give them different religions. We're gonna make some uh, Muslims. We're gonna make some uh, Seventh-day Adventists. We're gonna make some Catholic. Okay, let's say they get past that and figure out, okay, they try to separate us with that. How we gonna do it? We'll give them, uh, let's make some Democratic. Let's make some Republic. These are all signs to keep us separated. Right. To make us look at each other like, oh man, that's another nigga. Oh man, that nigga ain't nothing. That's how we look at each other. Read. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. This is the solution. Gather yourselves together. Uh huh. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Because we know we're not desired. Cop can kill us down on camera, hands up, no weapon, shoot us down like an animal. What happened to him? Nothing. He don't get no punishment. He doesn't go to jail. Just another dead brother in the streets. That's right. That's how our people are looked at. Read that again. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather together. Gather together. Yea, O nation not desire. Because we're a nation not desire. We must gather back together up on the the image, the black society of Jesus the Christ. We must gather together under the commandments of God. All these religions, God never gave us a religion. He gave us statues and commandments. Give me that in um, Psalm 147. Give me that in 147. Because God only dealing with us. It's not a race campaign. God has a chosen people. 
thank God that he chose you. I thank God that he chose me. We're not worried about nobody else. It's not a hate campaign. We don't hate nobody. God says live peaceably with all men. We're going to live peaceably because we have, we have to see them. We have to be around them. Right. At work, at school, we have to live peaceably. But we must come back together as a people. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. God showed his word to Jacob. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes. He changed his name to Israel. That's the father. That's our forefather. Read. His statues and his judgments unto Israel. He showed his statues, what I was telling you about the past, and his judgments. People that sleep around from man to man, woman to woman, the judgment. He showed that to us. Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. He ain't dealt so with nobody else. Read. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. They have not known the judgments of God because you could take a white person, they can sleep with a horse, cow, dog, they can sleep with animals, and they don't get diseases. But as soon as we do something, we the first one to get something. We go steal a piece of bubble gum out the store, we get five years. White man will rape a company for millions of dollars, extort people out of millions of dollars, and nothing happens to them. Because they sin is not for them. Do you know what sin is according to the Bible says? Give me that. Because that's what we out here for. We out here to teach our people and show them where they're sin is. Then it's up to them to, hey, let me get me a Bible. Let me see what they're talking about. Let me go do some research and apply these things. Read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin. This is sin. This is the topic of discussion. What is sin? Read. Transgressing. Also, the law. Transgressive means breaks the law. Read. For sin uh -huh. is the transgression of the law. Sin is the Bring transgression and breaking of God's laws. Right. So I'm going to give you a law again because this is the one here. Go back and do the other. This is a big law that God hates. And we're going to show you how he hates this thing. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. What pertains to a man? When you see a restroom, how do you know that it's a man's restroom and a woman's restroom if it didn't have the, uh, the, uh, the writing on the door? How would you know that? A woman's restroom has a dress. Has a dress. Exactly. That's a read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment like Kurt Franklin, like Tyler Perry, like Young Thug. Read. For all that do so are abomination That's unto right. the Lord thy God. God say all that do so is abomination. Give me that in Sirach 15 13. We're going to show you how God feels about abomination. He said all, not some, all that do so are abomination. Let's see what God feels about abomination. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. Read. The Lord hated all abomination. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Read that again, slow. The Lord hated all abomination. God hates all abominations. So you got to think about that. You got to ponder on that. So it's like, do I really want the Most High God to hate me? Because if he hates you, he could just say, man, they're no good to me. I'm going to just move them out of the way. But once you hear these words, you must act on it. Make haste. Uh, yeah. All right, sis, you got a flyer? The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. The abominable. We talked about the abominable again. And murderers. Uh -huh. and, and murderers. And whoremongers. Whoremongers, men or women sleeping around. And sorcerers. And idolaters. And people that worship idols. Read. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The second death. That's when Christ come and return. No matter if you're in the grave, you're going to wake up and face Christ. Right. So, that's right. That's what we out here trying to do.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.